What is up everybody? How's it going? I'm back at it for another video. Uh, I just want to talk about my watermelon program a little bit more for 2022. I picked up a couple of extra acres in addition to my main field. So I want to show you what's going on with that as far as my irrigation setup, what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to give you guys a rundown of the very beginnings of uh, the, the preparation for this field to grow some watermelon this year. We're going to be doing seedless and a little bit of seeded watermelon that's going to go to Costco and Winco and grocery stores around the country. So let me flip around and I'm showing you here what I got going on with my irrigation system. This is going to be a completely off-grid system this year. I'm not going to be doing anything off of the electric grid. So I've got my tractor out here with my uh, centrifugal pump that connects to the PTO of the tractor. And I'm gonna flip this camera around and I'm gonna show you what we're doing. All right, so we are flipped around here and this is the setup for the water that I've got. Uh, we have this canal that comes along next to the field. The field that I'm doing is right over here where these uh, pivot towers are parked in the middle. We're gonna get rid of those in a couple days. But uh, right now it's just green grass, some cheat grass and some weeds. I gotta pre-irrigate everything to wet everything down so I can work the soil really good. But canal system, there's the turnout, there's a pipe underground that leads to this box where I can pull out um, some water with my tractor. Here we got the B7100 HST uh, manufactured by Kubota. I believe this is a 1982 model. It's a 16 horse tractor and I've got the PTO. It's a Berkeley pump, PTO pump. Um, so the pump is here in the back that actually does the, 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 the pumping of the water. Um, there's the suction line from the, uh, I guess you can call it the box, pulling out of the box into the pump and then out through this lay flat hose to the field. Uh, right now we've got some hand line sprinklers that are set up and I'm going to show you those working in a few minutes. But the pump connects to the tractor in the back at the PTO connection and the tractor just sits here and runs the PTO which in turn runs the pump and uh, right now there's about 30 sprinkler heads out there we're, we're going to fire this thing up and I'll show you show it to you in action and it's doing about 150 gallons a minute at 50 pounds of pressure so pretty happy with the performance of this pump and this tractor considering this is uh, probably the smallest tractor that you can possibly buy um, that's an actual tractor like anything lower than this you're looking at like a lawn tractor that's not really made for agricultural use so I don't think you can buy anything less than a 16 horse tractor so this is like the very bare minimum of a tractor to run like anything so let me stop yapping and uh, let's get in the driver's seat here and we'll, we'll get going so we got our throttle, this is our throttle, and obviously the key, the hour meter, here's the clutch, this is a hydrostatic model, so there's no gears for, for driving it, but I'm yapping just way too much, let's get going. There we go. So we're going to engage the PTO, you push the clutch in, pull this back, lever back, that's low speed, and as I let off the clutch, there it goes, okay, I start out slow, I start out slow, and then once it's going, then I rev up the RPMs, just come over to this valve here, and we're going to open her up, fill this hose up, look at that, Filled up pretty quick. Once it's all the way open, there you go, the valve is all the way open. It's filling up the main line for all the sprinklers. So, to make this go a little quicker, we'll give it some more juice.
it takes a while to fill up all of the irrigation lines out there. There's a lot of linear feed of three inch pipe. So that takes a little bit of time. But uh, that's about it here. Let me take a walk out into the field where we're wetting everything down. I'm just gonna walk over there and we'll pick it back up. All right, so I'm in the middle of the field here. I climbed up these pivot towers. I'm sitting on one of them. Show you the sprinkler system that we got going on out here. Try to get the whole thing in the shot, but it's basically a big square that we're irrigating. Um, each of these sprinkler heads does five gallons a minute. So there's a total of 30 heads, so we're at 150 gallons a minute. And believe it or not, I'm actually getting wet up here. Yeah, like this guy reaches my feet, stand on the pivot here. There we go. Oh, gonna get wet. Yep. Oop, and I got my butt. Nothing like cold water on your back, huh? But um, that's what we're doing. We're just getting everything wet. And then once it's wet, We'll get rid of these uh, pivot towers and disc up the field real good and start laying some plastic. So this is kind of like a bird's eye view of the whole sprinkler system. It goes from over there where you're looking at straight ahead in the center of the, the shot. And then uh, through these pivots, I got the line set up underneath the towers to just get the ground wet. And then it ends up over there by that blue bucket a little bit beyond it. And I do a 12 hour set, and after 12 hours, I'm gonna get wet again by this guy. Here we go. Oh, got wet. I hate getting wet with cold water. It's just no fun. So I was saying the 12 hour set puts down two inches of water, and then we'll let it sit for a couple of days before disking it in, and then this is the middle section of the field, so after this 12 hour set's done, I'll take apart all the main line. They're 40 feet apart. It's just aluminum main line. They're really easy to take apart. And then I'll move this whole setup further to the east and irrigate the last section. And then that'll run for another 12 hours and then we'll be all done. So that is what we're looking at up here with all of these cool little sprinklers. And I'm gonna get wet one more time. Before getting down, here comes the water. Oh, here it is. Yep, yep, that's cold. Okay, time to get out of the rain here. Well, that about wraps it up, folks, for what we're doing out here with the pre-irrigation. As you can see, I'm relatively wet from getting shot sitting on the towers up there. But uh, I'll let this go another six hours or so, and then we're going to take it all apart, move it to the next section, irrigate that again for another 12 and then we'll be done so hopefully you enjoyed this got some value make sure you like this video smash that subscribe button and if you haven't checked out all my other videos on my youtube channel go ahead and check those out and if you have any questions or comments feel free leave them in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can i'm pretty busy getting wet out here so once i get dry and sit on my couch i can respond to any of your questions about what I'm doing, or if you want to know more, uh, just feel free to reach out. Uh, until next time, peace.